Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing Democrats secretly disguised as Republicans. And of course, by that definition, you know exactly who this video is about. We're talking about Nikki Haley once again. I wish it wasn't so, but she's still in the race. In fact, it seems as though she's campaigning two times harder than she was before, despite her campaign having clearly no hope. But anyways, Nikki Haley's campaign messaging, outside of, we're gonna send your children to war, has been mostly defensive posturing against accusations that she's funded or connected with Democrats, or that she's an establishment political player, she keeps saying, I'm not a Democrat. The elites are scared of me. I'm not part of the establishment. I'm a new generation of conservative leadership. And of course, I don't need to present evidence, just go on her Twitter account. And of course, we've covered this in previous videos, but that's pretty much the totality of her messaging campaign these days. I'm not a Democrat and I'm not an establishment shill. And so the question is, well, how exactly is Nikki Haley going to convince us that that's the case? Well, she's come up with pretty much the greatest strategy that anybody could have devised. Cozy up with the elitist Democrats at SNL and do a puffy media tour across leftist cable networks. Well, I'm convinced. Nikki Haley is now a grassroots anti-establishment political outsider. You can sense the sarcasm. Nikki Haley literally goes and partners with the opponent to attack the Republican leader. Genius. I mean, absolutely genius campaign strategy. She's not actually trying to win this election. She is a saboteur. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so you guys will not believe this. Nikki Haley makes a Saturday Night Live appearance to trash Donald Trump. Okay, our next question comes from someone who describes herself as a concerned South Carolina voter. Yes, hello. <laughs> My question is, why won't you debate Nikki Haley? Oh my God, it's her, the woman who was in charge of security on January 6th. It's Nancy Pelosi. For the 100th time, that is not Nancy Pelosi. It is Nikki Haley. Are you doing okay, Donald? You might need a mental competency test. You know what I did? I took the test and I aced it, okay? Perfect score. They said I'm 100% mental. And, you know, I'm confident because I'm a man. That's why a woman should never run our economy. Women are terrible with money. In fact, a woman I know recently asked me for $83.3 million. <laughs> and you've spent $50 million in your own legal fees. Do you need to borrow some money? Oh, Nikki, don't do this, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki Tiki Tavi. <laughs> Nikki, don't lose that number. Nikki Haley. Joel Osment. Nikki Haley, Joel Osment, we call her. Six cents. Remember that one? I see dead people. Yeah, that's what voters will say if they see you and Joe on the ballot. Oh, that, yeah, that's not very nice, Nikki. It's not nice. And I'm always very nice to you, except when I'm implying you weren't born in this country. Even though you're from South Carolina, and now I'm going to beat you in your state. And did you win your home state in the last election? I won Staten Island. <laughs> and the parts of Long Island where the fist fights happen, where they, where they get out of the cars if you honk at them. I love my world star whites. <laughs> All right, well, that is a new one on me. Okay, we have time for one more question, and it's actually for Ambassador Haley. Nikki Haley's campaign strategy is let's literally team up with the enemy. And I know some people might be saying the enemy. Oh, that's a harsh word to use. Obviously, I'm not being facetious. Let's be honest here. The mainstream media is the enemy of the people. All they do is lie to you and push bogus narratives. The idea that they aren't evil or they aren't the enemy to democracy, freedom, or really the American way of life as a whole. Well, let's just say it just isn't the case. I stand by my statement. But anyways, moving on, Nikki Haley decides that the way that she's going to show us that she's really the anti establishment character is by teaming up with establishment corporate media, the leftist propaganda outlet known as SNL, pretending to be a comedy show, partnering up with those people to attack the de facto Republican nominee. She is out of her mind. And once again, I mean, it's more proof she's just a puppet. She got a whole team around her making decisions. They tell her, Nikki, you're going on SNL. And Nikki's response every single time is okay. They say jump. She says how high. They say walk. She says how fast. They say start a new war. She says peace through strength. Right. Let's strike them all. Let's bomb them all, baby. Yeah, definitely not the establishment candidate. What an absolute joke it is. And actually, one thing that I found a little bit interesting, if you notice her acting skills. That the jury has now ruled. They have found him liable of sexual abuse. Do you not trust the jury and their findings, Ambassador? 
I absolutely trust the jury. And I think that they made their decision based on the evidence. I just don't think that should take him off the ballot. I think the American people will take him off the ballot. She sounds the exact same. So you mean to tell me that Nikki Haley, when acting on SNL, is just as awkward and pre-prepared in her presentation as to when she's selling us her as a political product? Oh, so you mean to tell me that politician Nikki Haley is just an actor and not an actual real human being? Checks out perfectly now, doesn't it? I don't know if I'm reading into things. Honestly, I don't think I am. I think it's a very good observation. She's literally the same when delivering her lines on SNL as she is on the campaign trail. She is a product. Washington studio fabricated product. She's not actually running for president. She is running to attempt to destroy and discredit Donald Trump. That is her purpose. She is a plant, controlled opposition, just like Chris Christie. But there's no other explanation. We know the current state of the race. New national survey shows Trump with a huge lead over Nikki Haley. Donald Trump is favored by 81% of respondents, while Nikki Haley received support of 18% of voters. She's down 60 points nationwide, more than 60 points nationwide, yet she's on SNL telling Trump to debate her. My question is, why won't you debate Nikki Haley? Debate you? You're down 60 points. What is this farce? Drop out of the race already. No, of course not. She's going to continue on because her job is to go on CNN so she could trash Donald Trump as being too busy with legal issues to run for president. It's a real issue, Dana. I mean, you know, we saw that he had, look, he's got multiple court cases. I haven't necessarily kept up with them. I'm not a lawyer. I'm an accountant. So I don't know the legal ramifications. But what I do know is one just came down. He had a big verdict. More than that, we just saw that he, in his disclosures, his campaign disclosures, he just paid 47 different law firms, $50 million of campaign donations that came into his campaign. If you see that, and he hasn't even gotten started on all these cases, for the next year he's going to be sitting in a courtroom. I didn't say that. He said that he's going to be spending more time in a courtroom than he is going to be campaigning. A Republican candidate essentially siding with Democrat weaponization of the legal system. What she should be saying is that Joe Biden's federal weaponization of the DOJ, FBI, and CIA is unacceptable, and we should be looking at major reforms to these institutions, but instead she parrots the leftist talking point. Well, I'm not a Democrat, Nikki Haley says. Then she goes and does this. I'm not an establishment shill, but here I am pushing the establishment message on CNN and trashing Trump on SNL. I mean, what an absolute farce. And then add the warmonger title on top of it, and you get the Hillary Clinton of the Republican Party. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.